Have you thought about what happens when you settle on a hypothesis and then you switch? For example, looking at the Necker cube, this cube made out of you yes. know, 12 lines. What you know, you, you see it one way, then you see it the other way. What is it that allows it to switch? All right. Now imagine a Necker cube is a two-dimensional image, right? It's a two-dimensional image of a three-dimensional wireframe cube or something like that, right? Um, and so it's not three-dimensional, it's really two-dimensional. But your brain wants to make it three-dimensional, right? Because <laughs> it doesn't know two-dimensional things that look like that. Yeah. And so it, everything we try to do fits into our models, right? right? We don't say, oh, that's a two-dimensional image. It can't be a cube. No, you say, oh, no, that's got to be a cube because I know cubes. I don't even think it looks like that. It's not a cube. So it wants to settle on a hypothesis like, okay, well, this corner is in front of that corner, and this corner is behind that corner, this corner is the left of that corner. It just has to do that to fit its models.